So today I want to bring you through some of the basics of search marketing and then go into uh, some of the detail on what is happening in this ever-changing world of search. Uh, the opportunity, as highlighted, I think, by Seb earlier on, uh, lies in several different places on the Google results page. So at the top there, we see the places piece, and that's highlighted over on the side by a map. Those places results are not just random results, and they are results that are likely to be monetized in the future by Google. So do bear in mind, by putting in a places submission, you need to think about optimizing that place listing. And you need to think about things like your keywords there. Below that, in the red, we can see the organic results. Um, and they are the results where a large amount of your users will be clicking and where your call to action is. Within the blue results, we're seeing paid listings. And paid listings, as was highlighted earlier on, are probably your mo most instant uh, call to click for your customers. So you can put messages there, and they will be up within minutes on the Google listings. You can also see the paid listings down the side in combination with places listings. How do search engines work? So Google is known as a crawler. Uh, Yahoo and Bing are also search engine crawler engines. So it means they operate off a search engine spider or a robot going out and crawling the internet. So a search engine spider doesn't see what you're seeing. So this is the front end of a website. They're actually reading what is behind that uh, front end that you're looking at and looking at the code there remembering that things like nice images there and everything is not something that can be read by a search engine spider. So you have to tell that spider at the back end what is in your image, what is in your text. So the spider or, or robot is going in, reading the code on that page, collecting the data, most importantly, following links within your website and returning the data that it can find back to the search engine uh, database or index. The links part here is quite important in that it's called a spider because it's spidering links. If you're not providing links within your website for a Google spider or a, a Yahoo spider thing to crawl across to your site, they won't collect all of the data that's available. All that information is going back to the index and when a user then searches for that, your website is returned, providing the data you're putting on your website closely matches what the user is searching for. There are three basic techniques that you need to combine in order to have an effective SEO uh, strategy. The first of that we've kind of touched on a bit is architecture, and that's how easy it is for a search engine spider to crawl your website. The next thing that a spider is going to look at beyond the basics there and ensuring that it can crawl your site is the content that's available on your site. Once all of this is in place and ticked off, you need to look towards pointing to your site. And you do that via linking or promotions and submissions to directories such as Yelp um, and any other industry-related directories. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the market. It's bigger than Bing, it's bigger than Yahoo, um, and Google owns YouTube. So you need to think about making the most out of video as well as your traditional organic results. And it applies to local businesses. It applies to industries that you wouldn't necessarily think of utilizing video. So to finish up, um, a large amount of users, in excess of 70%, will be looking for local businesses, and they're looking for those businesses primarily through search engines. We're looking at a lot of those users clicking on organic listings. Those organic listings will not necessarily be what you recall as organic listings, but they may be looking towards news pieces, uh, places listings, looking at those reviews that are coming in through places. Only 10% of users will be searching beyond the first page. 
So if you feel you cannot achieve listings via organic at this point, remember that a paid listing, a places listing on the first page is an above the fold listing um, that the majority of your users will be clicking on. If you combine the two results, as they may appear in different ways, paid and organic, that's where you're going to get the highest click-through rate with about 38% of users deeming that your business is leading within its industry if it has all of those listings. So tying it up, um, it, there's a lot of things um, in the different areas of both paid and organic we would suggest that it's something that you might look to the experts, such as Yale, looking after uh, at the beginning before you get a handle on it, because for the most case, they are dominating results within uh, Google, the largest search engine in your market. That's all we have time for today, so thanks very much for joining us. <laughs> Thank you.